If you're playing CS2, you probably heard everywhere that there's a few settings you should definitely change that go around interp or interpolation. Without getting too deep into it, essentially, it messes with how CS2's networking is, and while you may think changing console parameters really doesn't have any effect, well, I'll have you know that the latest CS2 update for the fifth hymn, they adjusted interpolation parameters. These are the options that you're being told to change, and they definitely have a merit in changing as an update actually actually changed these. It applied two of the optimizations, which we'll be doing in this video, but also the third optimization, it only did a little bit to be on the safe side. We'll get there now. First of all, what are these commands? Well, opening CS2, we'll open the console and type in CL underscore update rate, and you should see it's already set to 128. If not, you'll need to change it to 128 by typing CL underscore update rate 128 and hitting enter. Then the CL underscore interp underscore ratio should be set to one. Both of these were set in the previous latest update and are two of the three recommended parameters that you should be setting yourself. The third one, however, CL underscore interp is set to 0.04. What exactly is this? Well, without getting too much into it, 0.04 is what Valve have now loaded to from 0.4. So that's 10 times lower, but the community is suggesting to place these numbers at 0.03 if you have an unstable connection and 0.015 if you have a more stable connection. Do note that this doesn't mean ping, it means actually how stable it is at that ping. So if you consistently have very low ping, then setting it to the lower option is highly recommended. For people with good stable internet, you'll be using 0.015. 625. You'll find this in the description down below. When you hit enter, it should set it and CL in Terp is now set as we hope. The exact number around 0.034 unstable connections you'll find in the description down below so you can simply copy and paste it. Now all of these values should simply be saved and the next time you fire up the game they should still be set. However, if they're not or you'd like to add these to an auto exec config file, I'll show you how to do that right now. First of all, we'll close CS2, then right-click CSGO in Steam, followed by Manage and Browse Local Files. Then in here, head into the Game folder, not CSGO, but Game, then CSGO and CFG. Inside of here, if you already have an autoexec.cfg file, simply open it. Otherwise, we'll need to create one. In order to do so, make sure that you can see file extensions, such as .cfg. Otherwise, click View at the very top, followed by Show, and make sure both file name extensions and hidden items are ticked for good luck. Otherwise, on Windows 10, you'll see on the ribbon bar at the very top, a view tab. Simply click it, and on the far right, you should see file name extensions and hidden files. Make sure both of those are ticked, and just like that, you should be able to customize file extensions. In order to create an auto exec file, right-click anywhere and choose New, followed by Text Document. We'll be renaming everything, including .txt, to be auto exec.cfg and hit Enter. Then, yes, when you're prompted, to. Now we've successfully created an autoexec config file. Open this with any text editor using right click, open with, followed by either notepad or something fancier. And inside of him, we can start typing things. If you use echo, followed by quotation marks, you can get it to type out something like config loaded, so you know that the config is loaded in your console. This is, of course, an optional step. On the very next line, or at the very top, we'll be adding in these three commands, which you'll find in the description down below. Once again, just make sure that 0.01 is set to whatever yours should be. So if you're on a less stable connection, set it to 0.03 something something. You'll find it again down below. Save this file, close it, and in Steam, right-click CSGO, click Properties, scroll all the way down to the very bottom of the General tab, and inside of here, make sure that you have plus exec space autoexec.cfg as such, followed by another space if you have any other text here. You'll need a space on either side of it from other texts. Just like that, we've now set it up to run properly. So, plus exec autoexec.cfg with a space on either side from whatever other text may be there. Close this, and the next time you fire up CS2, all of these options should be set for you. Simply opening up console when you're in-game and typing CL underscore interp, you should see 0.015, etc. or 0.03. Otherwise, if for some reason you're seeing zero, simply make sure that in Steam, you're not like me and you still have your CSGO launch options here, 
where previously it was recommended to set plus CL interp to zero. Instead, remove this if you have this line, as well as interp ratio, and just like that, everything should be set up properly. Lots of these commands from the previous CSGO game won't work in CS2, so you can either clear them out or leave them, as lots of them probably will have no effect anyways. We can close it and relaunch CS2, and of course, your exec should be run and things should be set up properly. Anyways, that's about it. Hopefully, you're finding that you're not randomly getting shot behind cover and you're actually landing more of your own shots because we've now improved networking in CS2. Obviously, it's an ongoing beta and development on Valve's side, so things will improve. They're just playing on the safe side by choosing 0.04 for the people with the most unstable internet to still have a good experience. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.